He sends this one deep. And they can forget about returning this one. The Cowboys been talking with them this week, Kirk. It's just interesting their perspective on this kid, how good he is, and how much they can lean on him. Yeah, you and I had a chance to visit with not only the coaches, but the player himself. And I got a real good vibe walking out of those meetings and, and thinking that he's going to have a huge game. The coaches seem confident in being able to get him to football in different areas on the field. This kid has a look in his eye that I haven't seen in a long time where he just wants to have a chance to have an impact on the game and on the outcome. And I, I'd be shocked if they could slow him down. Just throws this one away. Third down, and they're going to need about three yards to pick up the first down. The crowd really making it difficult. Going right to his tailback. And they push him out around the 30-yard line. So the defense does their job well on that series. They did a pretty good job of not letting the offense get much going on that possession. get this one off and it's a beauty and down he goes at the 35 so the opening drive failed to produce any points where well, the crowd was loud and did their part now if they're able to move the ball downfield they can take control of this game early so here comes the offense taking the field for the first time today and a nice catch there before he stepped out of bounds Really, there's not much more the defense can do this. They had outstanding coverage. It was just good execution from the quarterback making the right throw and the receiver going up and making a catch. Very good tackle in space. He's scrambling, and now he's got room to run. Brought down at about the 19-yard line. What is going on with his defense? I mean, don't get me wrong. The offense is doing a nice job with first downs, and they're executing well. But the defense is just letting them maintain possession and move the right down the field. They've got to try to change things up with their scheme. Be more aggressive. Attack. Do some things to change it up. Take some risks. That makes it second and 14. From the 22-yard line, it's second down. Hey, check Mike 45. Check Mike 45. I got you. Red two. Red seven. Red seven. Red seven. Red he's got his man across the middle, and he's taken down on the 14-yard line. Scrambling around. He's taken down at about the five-yard line. It's a good job of converting on third down with the running game. Let it go, and it's caught for the touchdown. So they're going to try to determine if the receiver had possession and was inbounds or not. They call it a catch, but the booth signaled down to the referee that they'd like to take another peek at this. Man, as I see this play again, it really looks like he made the correct call on the field. After, After review, review of the play, play the, ruling the ruling on the, on the field, field stands. stands. So they review it, but there's just not enough evidence to overturn this one. He makes the PAT. A nice seven-play, 65-yard drive, and it results in a touchdown. Brad, I thought the offense did a really nice job of mixing up the play calling on that drive. I thought the defense was on its heels most of the drive because of the versatility of the offense. He really got a hold of that kick. 
And it goes into the end zone, down for a touchback. Oklahoma is looking right now like they've got all three phases working for them so far, Kirk. Yep, it's early, but they are in control of this game. The defense is, seems to have a very good feel for what they're doing out there. The offense moved the ball down the field. Special teams, everything right now is really in sync for this game. Throws a bullet over the middle. That'll bring up second and three. Five wide. He makes his way to about the 42. That's a team of 10 on the ball. First down. There are five wide receivers split out. The quarterback in the gun. He gets rid of this one. The defense got some pressure and forced a bad pass. I think they've been a little bit more aggressive here with their pass. And that time it paid off with an incompletion. Second down, 10 to go. Ball on the 42-yard line. Caught, open field. Becoming the 12th man. The crowd is always into it here. And they make the stop right around the 40. Gain of nine on the play. Roger, Roger. That makes it first and ten. Kill, kill, kill. Tries to scramble, but he's sacked. That makes it second and fourteen. So it'll be second and 14 after the setback. Flags are all over the place, and they'll blow it dead. False start, offense. That penalty will move them back a bit. Yeah, and with so many young guys out Still there, it's bound to happen occasionally. Steps out at the 47-yard line. And this play is number eight on the drive. These fans are showing you why teams hate to come here, folks. He chucks it downfield. Quick strike to the receiver. Touchdown. a nightmare to try and cover and he showed you why right there his speed just melts coverage schemes they'll line up for the extra point in an attempt to tie the game and he tacks on the extra point an eight play 79 yard drive and they come away with a touchdown and it looks like they're ready for the kickoff. Nice kick, plenty of distance. He's to the 20, brought down at the 25-yard line. This is a fun game, and I think we're going to see a lot of interesting football before it's over. Leads it across the middle. They'll bring him down around the 40 yard line. He's got an opening. And he's tackled at the 48. Second and 15. It's second down, 15 to go. Ball on the 47 yard line. Green nine, green nine. 
and down he goes at the 42. So they pick up quite a few yards on that play, Kirk. Well, that was an excellent route, and he did a great job of holding on to the football. Gets it out quick, and it's going the other way. And just a great interception by the cornerback. Well, that's big time. He made a great read on the quarterback and got in there for the pick. First and 10, ball on their own 30. He's on the run, got the corner. He's to the 40. He gets hit out of bounds. Right on midfield. Throws it in a hurry. He's tackled at the 44. Number 22 brings him down at the 44 yard line. That'll make it second and four. Hey, kill, kill, kill! And that one's incomplete. Well, he must have hurried there because his receiver was wide open. There was no need to rush that one at all. So it's third down now, and they're going to need about four. You expect this every time you're here, and you're never disappointed. This crowd is amazing. Tackle at the 33-yard line. Red two. He steps up. Gets it out quickly. Tackle made at the eight-yard line. This secondary better tighten it up if they're going to slow down this drive. That makes it first and goal. Gets to about the five-yard line. to thread the needle and it's not going to work. And they'll return this one all the way. It's a good play when the corner can break up a pass, but it's even better when he can bring it in for an interception. So at the end of one quarter, we're even at seven in this one. And we're ready for more football here in quarter number two. Larry, Larry, Larry! 45 the mic! Come on, baby. Let's see what you got. Yeah. The 10 gets out to around the six. Slings it, and they got to him before he could get back to the line. Number four tackles him in the backfield at the seven-yard line. That'll make it third and one. It's third down, and this offense is about three feet away from that first down marker. Now he tries to buy some time. Oklahoma could take the lead with this field goal. It's up, and they tack on three points. Even though they gave up a field goal here, that defense is feeling pretty good about themselves right now. It could have just as easily been a touchdown. They line up to kick this one away. Tackle at the 21. 
I think this defense has played well enough to be able to win this game, obviously. But at some point, you'd love to see their own offense feed off of some of the confidence that their defense is playing with. Because up to this point, the defense is keeping them in the game, but the offense isn't quite doing enough to be able to build on that lead. Here's the halfback. Runs right for a nice game. Pulls it in and he's in the open field. Brought down around the 34-yard line. Good for a game of six yards. Hey, Mike 20, First down. Mike 20. Oh, yeah. Red two. Got it and brought down immediately. That brings him second and five. Mike 20, Mike 20, Mike 20. And that run got stuffed. Yeah, you're right. The defense definitely won the battle with the line of scrimmage there. So it's second and 14. Ball on the 40-yard line. And they got it. Sometimes it's just a relentless pass rush that results in a sack. That's what happened there. Third and long now after the sack. Complete. He's got room. I know the defense would have liked to have prevented such a big game, but the important thing is that they held and brought up fourth down. It's on the ground, and now it's recovered by the receiver. And they're very lucky to have that ball back. This receiver needs to put two hands on the ball. He's carrying that thing around like he's trying to give it away. We're at play number nine of this current drive. And he throws it away. It's second and ten. Ball on the 32. The offense going to try to open this field up, coming out in a five-wide set. And the defense counters with their dime look. Quick throw. And he's shoved out of bounds at about the 21. There's very good chemistry between these two. They like to run through all their routes before the game. And I have to say, they look sharp before this one even started. He goes out of bounds at the 16. Empty backfield, quarterback in the gun. Five wide receivers. There's a strike complete. Knocked out of bounds around the six-yard line. First down, and they've got their eyes on that goal line. They'll line up with five wide receivers. Fires quickly, and he's got his receiver for the touchdown. That'll be a big boost. You always want to capitalize on these short yardage situations, and that pass was an excellent call. And he hits the PAT. A 13 play, 80 yard drive, and they put up seven points. This quarterback has really demonstrated a tremendous amount of ability and leadership today. I'd be very surprised if he didn't continue to play well. So the score now, 14-10.
With one quarter down, I really haven't seen too much separation between these two squads. Might be neck and neck the whole way. The Sooners will use their first time out of the half. I think it was a great play call, and it was very well executed. Any coach would be happy with that kind of outcome on a first or second down play. Gets it. He's in space. And he's taken down at the 41. Makes the catch and gets out of bounds. From the 41 yard line. First down. They come out in a five wide set. Catches it and he's looking for more. He's at the 30. He's taken down right around the 20 yard line. Five guys will be out in the pattern as they're in the shotgun. Got a man in and out of his hands. From the 26 yard line, second down. Steps out of bounds at the 22-yard line. Out of bounds at the 19-yard line. That's good for three yards. So it's fourth down. They'll line it up for the field goal. Kicks up, and it's through the uprights. <laughs> Oklahoma is lining up to kick this one off. Sends it sailing downfield. He makes it to the 15-yard line. The Cowboys get ready to go in here at halftime. They've got their star player not having the kind of game he normally has on a weekly basis, and yet they've got the lead. And with that in mind, third and fourth quarter could belong to them. Third and fourth quarter should belong to them because I have a lot of confidence that this offense is eventually going to start to click. And, and once they do, I think it's a matter of time until you really find out what they're capable of doing. The defense, I think, has done a good enough job of slowing down that star tailback. We'll see if they can hold on here in the second half. They need about three yards to get the first here on second down. Oklahoma State up a point. He's got his man across the middle. Red, two, yellow. Throws complete. He's got space to work. And they make the stop at the 43-yard line. Oklahoma State's going to have to use their second time out of the half. So it's second down and about two yards to go. Red, two, check, check. Dancer, dance. Now he's scrambling. Decides to tuck it in. He's got space. Kill, kill, kill. Yellow, three. Check nine, check nine. Yellow, three. Completely stopped immediately. Easy, easy. Flare, flare. That makes it second and six. Dead. Fires it out. They'll bring him down at the 39 yard line. He's going to go for the home run. And he stays in bounds and he hauls in a big one. That makes it first and goal. This is the eighth play of this drive. We ain't giving them nothing to say. Hey, Mike 20, Mike 
20. Dead two. And he stopped behind the line. He's scrambling. Keeps it, and he's got a touchdown. When you're that close to the end zone, it's always a smart play to find your blockers and follow them into the end zone. And he converts the extra point. A nine play, 84 yard drive. And they come away with seven points. An amazing drive for this offense. Outstanding execution. If you're the defense, you've got to do something to try to change things up to get this quarterback out of sync. Momentum swings have been fairly even. And with so little separation, this game can be drastically changed on just one or two plays. The Sooners call a timeout. That's their second of the half. From their own 46-yard line. First down. One more play now before we hit halftime, so they'll most likely throw one towards the end zone here. And it's intercepted. And who else? It's the senior safety. And he tackles him hard at the six-yard line. We played a half of football. Oklahoma State's up by eight. Glad to have you with us in the studio for the EA Sports NCAA Football 14 Halftime Show presented by Nissan. Innovation that excites. Chris Davis and David Pollock here completely locked in on that first half. This game's been everything we anticipated it being, each team matching each other blow for blow, just a one possession game at this point. What do you expect to change things in the second half? Well, it's always it's always fun to watch two teams and two games match up the hype. And we, we talk about it all week and how big this game is, and it's going to come down to players making plays. And, you know, the, the big play is something that we continue to beat into the ground. And which one doesn't give that up? A lot of times, you know, games are lost and won by turnovers and giving it away and making that crucial mistake. You can do everything right and you can execute right, but it just takes that one misstep, that one turnover to, to really put you in a bad position or a bad situation that can determine this game. That's what it looks like it's going to. Both teams executing well. Who's going to make a big mistake? Just about ready to start the second half. We're going to watch all the games around the country, including some coaches who like to sample the surface that they're playing on. I'll, I'll keep an eye on that. Yeah, I'm going to go to the cafeteria. You want some turf, some astroturf or anything? Yeah, if they've got some, I'll chew on that in the second half. Here's the second half for you to chew on with Brad and Kirk. All right, Reese and David, welcome back, everybody. Just about set to start the second half. He sends this one deep. And it goes into the end zone, down for a touchback. This deficit can be easily overcome, sure. But they have to be thinking if they don't get something going on this series, the burden is going to be felt by their defense. He's wrapped up for the sack. That is a loss of four yards. That makes it second and 14. Looking to dig themselves out of a little hole here after the sack. It's second and 14. Red two. Gets it out to his receiver, and he can't hang on. Under heavy pressure. And he's tackled at the 31-yard line. The offense didn't appear to be in sync on that series. You'd always like to move the ball at least past midfield, if only to win the field position battle. The defense wasn't going to give them anything on that drive. 
He puts it away, and it's a great kick. Brought down at the 27-yard line. The offense will take the field, and they've been moving the ball very well on their last couple of drives. Oklahoma State is up by eight. He gets rid of this one. Second and 10. Ball on the 27. They'll give it off here. Tackle made around the 35-yard line. They're one of the loudest crowds in the country, and they are on their feet. Good outside run there. Five wide. He's at midfield. He makes his way to about the 45. That's a gain of 15. Hey, hey. That, that makes it first and 10. Hey, well, Mike 40, Mike 40. Kill, kill, kill! kill. Tackle at the 37. Makes the reception. Number 20 makes the tackle at the 37 yard line. That makes it second and two. Caught out in the open. He's tackled at the 26. With the reception. Number two on the tackle at the 26 yard line. First down. Takes it up the middle for a nice run. That's a game of seven on the play. That'll bring up second, second down, down, and they're going to need about three yards to pick up the first down. Oklahoma State up by eight. Passes. Tight end's got another one. That makes it first and goal. Red two. Yellow three. Motion. Yellow three. Hands it to the back, and down he goes at the 11-yard line. Here's play number 10 on the drive. And he's hit before he can go anywhere. That makes us third and goal. You expect this every time you're here, and you're never disappointed. This crowd is amazing. Scrambling around, and he's going to run this one in. Touchdown. He makes the PAT. Like they're ready for the kick. Nice kick, plenty of distance. This one's going to be down in the end zone for a touchback. There's got to be some sense of urgency to this offense right now. They don't have the luxury of wasting drives if they want to get back in the game. Midfield brought down at the 46. You talk about a dual threat guy. This guy can hurt you in the air or on the ground. He makes it out to maybe the 43 yard line. That'll make it second to seven. Hey, check Mike 45. Check Mike 
Hey, kill, kill, kill! He's at the 30, and he hits him hard at the 28-yard line. And he has a huge run. I'll tell you right now, this guy is arguably one of the fastest players in college football today. There you see him turn it upfield with such fluidity and quickness. Quick strike to the receiver. And he's taken down right around the 12-yard line. Pickup on the slant route from the quarterback. That makes it second and two. Second down, and they're about two yards away from the sticks. And he's level at the five yard line. Loss of one, one yard, yard on the play. play. That, that makes, makes it third and three. three. Here's the eighth play of the series. Let's go, D. Let's go. Hey, check Mike 45. Check Mike 45. Red two. He's taken down right around the two yard line. And it's the offense that takes the field on fourth down. Key 26, key 26. He's in for the score, and they're back in it. And so he found his receiver for the score. And the closer you get to the end zone, the more difficult it becomes to throw the football because the field becomes much smaller to work with. But they did a very nice job there to come up with the touchdown. You talk about a clutch play. They couldn't afford any mistakes on fourth down there. And he adds the extra point. Oklahoma ready to kick this one off. He just drills this one. And it sails out of the end zone for a touchback. The Cowboys are on a roll right now, an absolute roll. 21 straight points, and the defense has no answer for it. Taking the field again now is the offense, and i got to tell you, these guys have just been a defensive nightmare on the past few drives. And it was a really nice drive, too, Brad. The quarterback got into a nice rhythm and did a good job of picking up to defense. It's a bad play overall by the offense. The quarterback's doing everything he can to be able to make the play work and try to execute. The problem is the offensive line did not do a good job protecting him. They're very fortunate that ball wasn't intercepted. He's going to try and scramble. That's a great tackle at the 40. First down. Oklahoma State holds an eight-point advantage. Let's go, D. Check 99. Check 99. Throws to the receiver. Incomplete. Nice job getting a hand on that one. Yeah, really good heads-up play there to get a hand on the football by the defense. So it's second and ten. Ball on the 40-yard line. He's at midfield, fires out to his receiver, and he is drilled at the 44. Number 22 brings him down at the 44 yard line. That makes it first and 10. Here we go, here we go, here we go. Looking for his man, incomplete. Number 87, Second down, 10 yards to go. Ball on the 44. Out of bounds at the 43. Points galore through three. An action packed fourth quarter is on deck. 28 20, Cowboys. Back in this very pivotal fourth quarter. 
Right here, right here. Hey, Mike 20, Mike 20. And they make the stop at about the 35. Fourth down. They'll call on the field goal unit. The kick is up. It's got the distance. And it's good. The kicker looks like he's ready to kick this one off. He really got a hold of that kick. And they can forget about returning this one. These guys came up with a touchdown on their last drive, and they'll be hoping for another six on the board here. Quick out to his receiver. He's hit and taken down. Receiver first down. And he shoved out of bounds at about the forty three yard line. That brings him second and five. Hit immediately. Kill, kill, kill! Takes it and he's tackled short. Call it a loss of one yard on the play. That brings up fourth and three. He gets it away, and this is a really nice punt. Touchdown. And it goes into the end zone, down for a touchback. Oklahoma State's expertise carrying the football is what we thought was going to be in the spotlight today, and here it's been the passing game instead. Yeah, we really thought this running back would have one of those days you'd remember for a long time, but this passing game has stepped up and then put this offense in a position to be able to win this game. And they'll get him in the backfield. their own 16-yard line. It's second down. Less than three minutes in the game. He's out to the 30. Gains his way to the 39-yard line. From their own 39-yard line. First down. Red two. Blue 20. He's at midfield. He gets to about the 41-yard line. Anytime this guy carries the ball and gets a little space, we could be talking about six. They'll bring him down. At the 41 yard line, and the halfback's got nowhere to go. From the 41 yard line, second down. <laughs> Tackled for a loss. That was just smash mouth, helmet to chin football by the defensive line there. They dominated the point of attack. Here's an opening. It's the tailback. Runs right for a nice game. going to aim this one to the sideline, try to kick it out of bounds. The 
get this one off, and it's a beauty. So this one goes into the end zone, and that'll be a touchback. They're ready to begin another drive. Just over a minute left. This quarterback is tough as nails, Brad. He's going to sit in that pocket and give himself a chance. The only problem is, at some point, you've got to have a feel, almost that sixth sense on when to get out of there and avoid the pressure, or just to throw the ball before you get hit. Not a bad little play there. Yeah, this is a nice job by the quarterback, leading the coverage and delivering a very catchable ball, and allowing his receiver to come up with a nice game. He flings it. And got him! To the 20. To the 10. He's all the way home. Touchdown. Late in the fourth quarter, and the big question is, in a game this close, who's going to crack first? They'll go for two in this situation. Throws it in a hurry. And they won't get the two. So a short three-play, 80-yard drive. And they'll come away with six points after failing on the two-point conversion. Boy, that is scoring in a hurry. This offense is looking more and more explosive. Taken down by the kicker. And what a game it's been for this quarterback, Kirk. You know, you can almost see his confidence rising with every snap that he and this offense take. And he's also been able to keep this defense honest with his ability to run the football. And unless the offense bungles this possession, they're going to pull out a squeaker. Here we are late in the fourth quarter. And this is what this game has come down to. Every possession is going to count, and this could be the one right here. Nothing more demoralizing for a defense than seeing the opposing quarterback take a knee. We should just see the quarterback take a knee right here, winding down the rest of this clock. It's final, a close one to the very end. 31-26, Oklahoma State. So, Kirk, how would you sum up the action in this one? Nothing adds to the pageantry of college football more than a good rivalry. This was a great game that should only add more fuel to the fire for next year's matchup, and boy, was it fun to watch. So that wraps things for us for EA Sports, Kirk Herbstreit. I'm Brad Nessler saying thanks, and we'll see you next time.